Good morning, lights. The earth you inhabit has certain powers, certain characteristics that make it very appealing for all of us. Some that make your ascension journey actually easier. Your solar system, for example, is very useful and interesting to us. Because of the potential we see in your solar system, we are particularly drawn to it. The planets and moons in your solar system have a ton of potential for life, and many of you are already aware that there are more sentient people living on planets and moons in your solar system besides planet Earth. We want all of you to be aware that the fifth dimensional solar system, which you are all edging ever closer to, is already teeming with life. You won't even need to leave your own solar system to encounter aliens, come across hybrids, or visit far off lands. Because of this, we advise everyone. To be just as enthusiastic about visiting Venus as they are about seeing the Pleiadian star system, you will also come to realize that there is a lot more to your world, and a lot more opportunity for adventure. As a result, even if many of you have been especially enthusiastic about the prospect of seeing other star systems. You should know that after your shift is through, your planet and solar system will make for quite intriguing locations to live. You will be able to see and feel the results of your effort. So you want to explore the fifth dimensional Earth. You are sending out a signal, a vibrational Earth, a dimensional Earth. You are sending it all out, every second of every day. That is all about helping to co-create a more beautiful and inclusive planet, one that nourishes all life, and where all creatures live peacefully. When it all materializes, you'll want to take it in. This. Is one of the reasons we find the predictions about traveling to other planets in space so absurd. Planet Earth has become uninhabitable by humans. Yet you don't want to leave it. You want to remain and go on serving this lovely Earth that you have been serving for endless eons. And for that reason, not all of you are whisked away in spacecrafts. You are here to offer the light, and to anchor in more of it, because doing otherwise would disturb the equilibrium. As they are there to serve you, just as Earth and your Moon are, we advise you to also anchor. 
in more of the energies from within your own solar system. Energies that are coming from these lovely planets and moons that you seldom ever think about. You are all part of a larger whole called your solar system, which is growing, changing and rising as a separate collective. We can't wait to see your first encounter with the fifth dimensional solar system. One of the questions I have been pondering lately is if you need more knowledge to awaken. How much do you need to know to be ready, to feel ready and to enjoy the ride? More and more people are being reached, although slowly. We take the stance of spreading light and love to every single person on earth. And we know we are not alone in doing so. Like many other high frequency beings and collectives, we are aware that the only way for you to realize that you are love is via the power of love. Your mind is quite finite, and additional knowledge tends to put you in a mind-orientated mindset. So it can only take you so far. Your higher selves, as well as your spirit guides, have the same objective, which is to help you open your hearts, as do we. It takes time for mankind to completely awaken and rise because of this. It's due to the fact that individuals still may refuse. Because they are aware that eventually they will have to experience everything. People might reject love and light. Although most people aren't aware of it, even being aware of it subconsciously might prevent the spread of love and light. The ones of you that are awake are likewise working on this. You are compelled to do so, knowing that they are the components of which you are composed. You are compelled to radiate your light and love. Through the love that you are all and the love that you have for them, you are enabling people to reach themselves more fully. You don't give up, even when someone rejects your generosity and affection. You keep doing it because you know that you are the only alternative available at this point. We have given you so much love and light, and the more you give, the more you get. And that is true, regardless of who is giving it to you, whether it is us, an archangel, or an ascended master. Everything is love, it is all love. Realizing that the goal of awakening, and once you do, there is no longer a need for separation. There is no need to separate people who are awake from those who are not. Sometimes we use certain terms to emphasize a point, but we don't want to divide. We don't want anybody to think less of anyone else because of their beliefs or what they don't know yet. And doing so will only momentarily stop the propagation of love and light that you are. However, it will always return, and you will always return to it. You can't escape it, it's always inside you. You constantly sense the want to do so, and heed the call to express it. It wants to come out and be articulated. Now, while acknowledging that it will take time, we continue to recruit your fellow people. 
the trip is enjoyable for us since we love to give love. We like seeing even the smallest changes in people, and we really enjoy the occasions when we finally persuade someone of who and what they truly are. You won't be let down if you treat your fellow beings the same way. Even better, you'll get more love and light to share with others because you will be in the flow, which is the best place for any of us. You will get energized, updated, and download all that you need. For life is abundant, and all that you seek will come back to you. Just remember that everything is love. It is all love and light. There is nothing else. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. I can never be lonely If you put your hand in mine I can never be lonely you walk with me this time I can never be lonely If you promise you won't leave I'll never be lonely Lonely I've waited for so long But what if it goes wrong